Hello everybody, it's Techno here. Today I'm going to show you four methods of finding the shiny stone in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. There are two finite, really easy methods of getting it. Then there's one decent method and one very questionable and unreliable method. I'm going to show you all four. The first one is the easiest one, just flying over to the Leaking Tower, Tower of Paldea. And mark this little spot over here next to this pond that's at the very top of the mountain. It requires a little bit of climbing, so just get your your climbing boots ready and start going up the mountaintop. Once you get up to the pond at the top, you'll find these shiny stones sitting over here next to the tree. Now for the second method that's finite and guaranteed, you can find over to the Gracias Stones over the northwestern corner of Paldea. You want to go ahead and mark this ex uh, exact spot over here, kind of close to the snowy spot. There's really nowhere nearby that you can fly to, so unfortunately it does require a little bit of travel. But once you fly there and make your way to that spot, you'll see this like elevated small land mass that you can jump up and grab the shiny stone from here. Now the next two methods are a little questionable. The first one is a little bit better than the other one. Um, and we can get that by flying over to the zero gate. What you want to do from zero gate is not go inside the building. First, you want to just save the game here, uh, right here. And then we're just going to hop on our Pokemon and jump off the ledge that leads you into the great crater. Don't go inside the building. This is going to take you to the base camp, which you could just go straight forward towards this fence. And then we're going to make a left. And once you see this crystallized tree, we're going to make another left, pretty much just following the path. And eventually you're going to come across this fork in the road right here. You can take a left at this fork in the road and go this direction. You'll find this shady pass and eventually you'll come across a river, uh, watery area. Now in here, there's a lot of hidden items. When I say hidden items, I'm talking about the little sparkly ones like uh not like those but like these right here these little sparkly ones go ahead and pick up all the hidden items in this little water basin you might not find one uh shiny stone here you might do it if you don't find it just go ahead and close the game turn it off and come back uh just close the game reboot it do the whole shebang over and you'll uh, because we saved in front of the zero gate you just make your way back and again check all the shiny spots again and eventually you should be able to find it 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 took me three times only so it wasn't too bad now the last method is the least reliable method i did this for 48 minutes and i still didn't get it successfully so we're gonna uh fly off fly on over to the porto marinada lighthouse and mark the market here in the center of the city you could just jump off this ledge and land pretty pretty close to this door here now we're going to go to the market. You might remember this from the story when you were betting with uh, Kofu's wallet. Uh, you can see here this in this central street here inside the market, there's going to be eight or seven people here. These four people, don't even worry about them. They're not going to concern you at all. They're just regular food salespeople like everywhere else in Paldea. These three other ones you're going to want to care about. So you just want to go towards the center of the uh, like street here and just read what they say. Soda pops, timer balls and razor claw no no shiny stone there so what i want to do is just like we did earlier we're going to actually save the game not open up our map we're going to save the game and then we're just going to close the game out completely kill the app and then go into your switch system settings kind <laughs> of flashback to the uh, sword and shield days go to your switch system settings and change the date and time we're just going to change the date to one day forward that's it doesn't matter doesn't matter the time nothing just plus one on the date go back to the game and when you boot it up you'll see that they have different things you can just keep doing that over and over and over and over again just close the game and then just reopen the game you don't even have to change the date anymore you just literally reopen it so that's pretty much it eventually you should be able to run to a shiny stone again i did it for 48 minutes i didn't find it i found every single other evolutionary item except for the shiny stone and i have other things to do but anyways that's every method of finding the shining stone in pokemon scarlet and violet